咁啊，三十三、三十四條咧，我哋就要睇翻幅圖啦。佢就 show 翻啊，喺一款特定嘅植物入面，佢哋個高度咧有啲唔同嘅喎，有啲變異嘅喎。咁啊，佢又要我哋啦，根據結果得出結論，我又係考翻我哋啦一個數據分析能力啦，同埋亦都要知道究竟有啲資料咧喺幅圖。其實見唔見到㗎？咁 A 就話咯，誒佢哋呢有高有矮嘅植物㗎嘛，佢哋係兩款唔同物種嚟㗎。但你諗下，呢幅圖得高度嘅咋，好冇？有有見到高度就見到佢係咩物種㗎啦咩？我同姚明係咪同一款物種啊？但係我哋有咩辦法會知得到啊？我哋呢，就要試一試將呢個高嘅植物同埋矮嘅植物呢，做一做交配，睇下佢哋能唔能夠繁衍到一個有生育能力嘅後代呢？我哋就知道啦。如果係能夠嘅，佢哋咪同一款物種囉；如果係生都生唔到出嚟嘅，佢哋咪唔同物種囉。但係而家呢幅圖係見唔到㗎嘛，係咪？跟住佢就話高矮呢個特性呢，係由一 p 嘅等位基因去控制，都係嗰句啦。我睇高度嘅咋，我點知道入面啲基因點樣擺法咩？係咪？除非啦，我哋好似阿 Mando 咁樣呢，做下啲交配實驗啦，將啲高同矮交配下，睇下啦咩下一代呢，出到啲高定矮嘅。我哋先知道佢哋係咪由一對嘅品位基因呢去控制住。去 option C 啦，佢就話啦，喂，我哋需要呢收集多啲嘅數據、哦，喎，從而呢去搵得晒 full range of height， 即係話啦，喂，而家呢得呢兩邊有，喂，中間嗰啲呢係咪真係冇㗎？呢一句呢，我同意㗎，但係問題呢一句。都唔似結論嘅，呢一句似係建議多啲，喎。所以其實 A、B、C 呢都係錯，答案係 D， 就係話啦，呢啲植物嘅高度呢係能夠顯示到一個連續變異同埋不連續變異嘅特性。咁啊真係喎，因為呢我哋好明顯地見到高同矮兩組嘅植物啊嘛，係咪？呢、这個呢係不連續變異，因為中間真係冇咗啲 intermediate 啊嘛，但係佢都有連續變異嘅部分，喎，因為各自喺高啊同埋矮入面呢。我哋又見到好多 intermediate 喎，所以 D 呢就真係喺幅圖能夠得出嘅結論啦。Question 33 and 34 refer to the following graph, which show the variation in the height of a certain type of plant. So the question is asking which of the following conclusion can be drawn from the above curve? Is checking the data analysis skills again? You need to realize any information which was not present in the graph. Option A: The short and tall plant are of two different species. How can you know that? I just see the graph. I just see the height. How can you determine whether two organisms they are in the same species or not? How can we know that if they are in the same species or not? So we have to cross the short plant with the tall plant to see if the fertile offspring can be produced, or can they even produce the offspring? So that's the method to determine whether they are in the same species or not. The two traits, short and tall, are controlled by a pair of allele. How can you know that you are just observing the height? So we need to do the mating experiment. Just like Mandel's, what he did to see that whether the tray disappear and then reappear in the next generation to see that are the characteristic really controlled by a pair of allele, and for option C, more samples should be taken to cover full range of height. That means this part, this part, this part. So we really do not see the full range of height, but for option C. Is just like a suggestion instead of a conclusion. So that means options A, B, C they are wrong, and the answer is D. The height of the plant displays the property of continuous and discontinuous variation. That's true because we can see two distinctive group of short and tall plants here, and there is no intermediate between them. So it's the discontinuous variation. Meanwhile, within the short group and the tall group, so we can really see some intermediate between that. So there are intermediate within the group of the short and tall plant. So it shows the continuous variation. Option D is the conclusion can be drawn from the graph.